twin, I am so done with your puns. I really want to congratulate you on finally hitting your 20s. I know it's a huge milestone for you. And I'm sorry that I couldn't actually spend your birthday with you this year, but I really, really wish I had. Now, I've never actually seen Scott Pilgrim, but I do know it's based on a comic book. And comic book characters are obviously comical. And you're quite a character all on your own. So I wouldn't say your friends are venturing too far when they say that you could be a character in that film. Could be true. Now, in your last video, you mentioned that you and your boyfriend are on a break right now. So breaks and breakups for that matter can be really difficult for everyone involved to work through. And it seems like, in your case, you definitely needed a distraction from that. But I think we can both agree that what you and your friends did afterwards wasn't necessarily the best decision. Still, your story reminds me of my own situation at the moment. Now, even though I'm not seeing anyone right now, there are people that I miss very deeply at the moment. So you already know that this has been my first week back to classes. And because of that, I've been reunited with a lot of really good friends this week. Uh, but there are others who I haven't seen this week and who I won't see for a very long time, both friends from here and friends from back home. Now, I will say that I'm not a person who gets homesick very often, but I have been noticing lately that I do get very friend sick. And by that I mean, my friends and I are all really, really close. You could even go as far as to say that we're like a little family. And to be apart from each other for more than a day or two is a little strange. The reason I bring this up is because even though we're both missing people in very different ways, it's very easy when you feel alone or distant from people you care about to kind of fall inward on yourself. Uh, it's very easy to get nostalgic or feel stuck in the past, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I'm completely guilty of feeling nostalgic constantly, but it is possible to feel that way and miss people and still be happy. As long as you're not letting that nostalgia or that feeling of desperately missing people you care about to interrupt your daily life or interrupt you from making new memories with the people that are in your life right now, you're okay. So I'd like to hear what you have to say about all of this and whether or not it's helped at all, whether or not it was confusing, just anything else that you have to say about this. In honor of your bi-weekly puns, I think I should have something. So I'm gonna do a bi-weekly riddle. This week's riddle is, how many apples grow on a tree? The answer to that riddle will be in the description below. And I can't wait to see your video next week. I love you, bye.